Well, finding a balance between law enforcement and mentor can be difficult for some school resource officers, but not for Deputy Lydon Logan. Eyewitness News Ann Powell takes us behind the badge. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Deputy LaDon Logan spends his days walking the halls of Southside Elementary in South Hopkins Middle School each school day, looking for ways to help students. Hello. Hello. Before coming a school resource officer, he served as a police officer for 44 years. In September 2018, he decided he needed a change. Working patrol, uh, I was always looking for people doing bad, um, you know, I had to arrest people. Uh, when people see you, it's usually in a bad situation, but working here at school, um, kids are happy to see you. I'm here to make a difference in people's life. Now, Deputy Logan wears many hats. Custodian, mentor, friend. Come on, you. Take a picture. Administrator, and even football coach. All the kids are like, hey, Coach Logan, I'm, I'm no longer Officer Logan or Deputy Logan, now I'm Coach Logan. So uh, now, you know, during lunch, some of the kids, they come to me at the table and they talk football, and, 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 and it's, it's, it's a great thing. By being a school resource officer, Logan says he's able to help kids see law enforcement in a positive light. I'm letting them know that uh, Seeing somebody in a uniform is a good thing. They're not always looking for the bad in people, that we're also looking for the good in people. Over the years, Logan has become a school hallway staple. He knows many of the students by name. It's my buddy Levi. That's right. They see me as somebody that's here to help. They see me as somebody who has problems like like they have problems and and I like that. I don't want them to see me as some kind of authoritative figure that they're scared to talk to. I, I like for them to come and be able to talk to me on a, on a regular basis. Logan says he feels right at home, treating the kids like his own. In Hopkins County, Ann Powell, Eyewitness News.